Hey Queen, it is your girl Miss OG and in today's video we're going to be talking about things that you can do to uplift your feminine energy and to become a really feminine woman. So as per usual, please do like and subscribe and please go check out my other videos as well just so that you can get a bit more context on what I'm talking about. But before we get into it, let's do our daily affirmation which is that everything is always working out for me because I am right where I need to be. Now repeat after me. Everything is always working out for me because I am right where I need to be. Perfect. So I have noticed that recently I have been operating in a state of masculine energy. And what masculine energy looks like is basically you trying to fight and you trying to make amends of things that are not meant to be mended by you. You know, so in life, we all come to a phase whereby we realize that everything we do is a two-way street and you can only control what you do, but you cannot control uh, what other people do in that scenario and in that case. And I have been crying and bawling my eyes out because I feel like I have been losing a sense of my direction and purpose because the people that are around me started to pull away from me. And that placed me in a state of masculine energy, which means that I was doing a lot of chasing, I was doing a lot of begging, a lot of pleading, you know, I was doing a lot of please pleasing and things like that. And today morning, I was on TikTok and I saw a video of birds talking and the birds were saying like, um, the birds were having a conversation whereby the male bird was telling the other bird that he's not interested in her and he wants to break up with her because he doesn't feel like he loves her. And instead of the female bird being like, oh, please love me and things like that, the female bird was just like, oh, you don't love me? That's fine. It's okay. I understand. And the male bird is like, why? And she says, well, it's simple because I can't control the way that you react to me and I deserve to be with someone who actually wants to be with me rather than forcing you to be with me. And that just clicked my mind because I've been doing a lot of begging and instead of me just letting things be as it is, I am trying to change the narrative and trying to control it to be what I really want the outcome to be instead of noticing what the outcome is. And so that is me being in my masculine energy. And I think the most disappointing part about everything is the fact that the person that I was going through with is someone who has, who has put me in a lot of um, feminine energy has allowed me to actually be very feminine. So when I noticed that I was acting masculine, I started being like, oh, I see why they would pull away. And I see why I'm also starting to lose myself because normally I would just let shit be. And it's about time that I start doing that. So I am here as a big sister to tell you that if you really want to thrive in your feminine energy, you need to let shit be. Okay. You need to let things be as it is you need to let go of trying to force things you need to let things be as it is and live in a state of flow okay sometimes we really get crowded by the fact that we do not see what we can accomplish outside of the things that we have already accomplished because we are so focused on not wanting to losing them we are so focused on not wanting to lose them and we are so focused on the how we got them you know i know in my case i'm not someone who goes out a lot I'm an introvert. I really struggle with public places. And so if I'm able to capture one person who's really interested in me, I want to keep that thing forever because I know how difficult it is for me to get a relationship or whatsoever. Also, I think really, I think if I put myself more out there, then it would be easier. But because I am an introvert and I struggle with going outside and talking to people, that's what I have to deal with in the meantime. And so I've noticed that if I keep crying and I keep trying to hold on to relationships that do not benefit me I am actually pushing the people that I want to keep around me furthermore than what I am doing you know than what I should be doing which is pulling them in and you need to understand that you're really not responsible for how another person feels about you you're really not responsible for how other for, uh, for how other people react towards you and you're really not responsible for the things that other people do to you. What you're responsible of or what you're responsible for is yourself, your emotions and where you want to go after this whole situation has turned up and turned out. So to get out of your masculine energy, you need to stop begging. You need to stop crying. 
you need to stop trying and you need to just let things be if the things are really meant for you they will work out if not you know make room for new things and if you are someone who really believes in fighting for things i believe in fighting for things fight for things but make sure that the fight is not one that leaves you losing yourself too very badly at the end of the day make sure that the fight is something that's actually worth it and that you won't find yourself being really damned in the future just because you wanted to keep something that you could not maintain or you wanted to keep something that the other person does not necessarily see worthy of keeping you know but with that being said i love my life i love myself and i want to be a feminine person and the only way that i can really enjoy my feminine energy and attract good things and attract love and keep love is really by letting thing by letting things go and allowing people to deal with what they want and letting people deal with who they are by themselves separately outside of me and when they're ready or when they feel like i'm fit enough for the idea that they have in their mind then they will come back but if not new things happen new things are coming my way and i'm open to those things anyways it is your girl miss og and i love you guys so much xoxo mwah.